All right, in this video, I'm going to be going over some really dope budget-friendly equipment that you can use to start podcasting today. Let's talk about the Sony ZV-1. It's a great camera that you can use to start podcasting today. So the footage that you're looking at right now is coming from the Sony ZV-1 and the footage looks great. It looks really good, super sharp, 4K. It has a flip out screen. You can use it as a webcam. So realistically, there's no reason why you wouldn't use this camera to start podcasting. So this is how the Sony ZV-1 looks compared to the Sony a7 IV. So now that we have the camera out the way, let's talk about microphone. So as far as audio goes, you wanna make sure that you get a really good microphone. For podcasting, I highly recommend getting a dynamic microphone. It gives you that nice radio podcasting sound that a lot of people love. And this microphone is the Shure SM7B. It's on the higher range uh, for podcast audio equipment, but it sounds fantastic. So I'm going to list some microphones that I would highly recommend that you look into. Let's start off with the Samson Q2U. This microphone is a legendary microphone. I've always wanted this mic. It sounds great. And at $69, it's a really great entry level microphone that you can take with you and use it forever. The Samson Q2U is a XLR and USB microphone. The beautiful thing about this microphone is that even if you don't have a mixer board, you can use the USB functionality to connect it to your laptop and start podcasting right then and there. It also has a headphone input that you can use to monitor your audio. So this microphone is fully functional and I highly recommend it. So right now I'm talking into the Samson Q9U. This microphone is really dope. Um, it usually retails around 130, 120. It just kind of fluctuates. It's a great microphone. It has XLR functionality, which enables you to connect it to a mixer. It also has USB functionality, which enables you to connect to a computer, an iPad. Um, I have mixed feelings about this microphone because I've had it for a while and it just stops working. Every once in a while, then it will start working again. I tried to contact Samson and they have yet to reply to my email. All in all, I really love this microphone. I've used this microphone for the first couple of episodes of my podcast because it was really easy to use it, um, connecting it to an iPad and just podcasting away. Um, it does have a mute button, so you can just press the mute button right here and can't even hear what I said. This is pretty much an audio test for the Samson Q9U versus the Shure SM7B. So this is the Samson right here. And then this is the Shure SM7B. Ah, oh, man, this just sounds, I sound so good. <laughs> you have no idea for, wow. Okay. <laughs> I, I would listen to my podcast too. Jesus. Okay, I'm not crapping on this microphone. It's just that this has a different sound. This has this has a cool sound. It just it just sounds great. Okay. Wow. Okay. So now we're back on the Samson Q9U. Um I it's it sounds good. It's a really good microphone. A dynamic microphone so everything in front of you, you know, it'll focus on, but once you start moving to the side, things start to not sound the best. But Samson Q9U, great microphone. All right, let's get on to the next one. So the audio you're listening to now is coming from the Shure MV7. The audio sounds great. It, it's very, it sounds really good. I like it over the Samson Q9U. I think the MV7 retails for around 250, 249 somewhere around there, but it sounds really good. I think it's worth it. So the last microphone is the Audio-Technica AT2020. It sounds pretty good. <laughs> pretty, 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 pretty good. I would not recommend getting a condenser microphone for a podcast. Um, definitely get a dynamic microphone, but then again, it really just depends on how you want to do it. 
the, the difference between a condenser microphone and a dynamic microphone is that a condenser grabs sound from everywhere. It doesn't isolate the sound. These dynamic microphones capture audio within like a cone where it's like directly in front of your mouth versus a condenser microphone like this one that I'm holding. It just picks up sound from everywhere. Um, I like the sound of this one, but I still prefer the MV7 over it. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. It was really fun making it be simply because I got to play around with some cameras and microphones. I got to borrow some microphones and cameras from some friends and just test them, see how they sound. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions, uh, please be sure to comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.